Alright, what's up you guys? Because always welcome back to another OU game, which is truly the Scarander. And today we're going up against Nate, who has a really solid bulky team. And I was feeling here was Galvinchilla. I'm feeling a sticky web team and I didn't see a grounded type or rather guard champ is that but I felt it was rather safe leading off with Indignation, my Zergatry and hoping for the best. Really this is a very fat team by Fury and I do have merits of using something like Steelix versus Ferrafon, but overall this is a very just a fat matchup. Clefable and Alolan or Galarian Sloking is really Intimidating when <laughs> it as just alone. So he starts off with Sketchers, which is the Cinderace, and I was basically leveling back and forth. There is no way, hopefully, he is scarfed. So I felt I can get some good chip here if he goes for a U turn on his own. And um, what do you know? It isn't scarfed, and this Volt Switch will pretty much ruin the Cinderace. And um, Basically, here I realized I have no real good switch in, but a zoom reel do solve some of it, and hopefully, I can soak whatever it goes for as it goes for a U turn. So, he did make that prediction, and uh, it won't do anything to me. That actually did a lot because it's life orb. <laughs> so, it was like, okay, at least that means if we get self rocks up, I can guarantee that that one is now dead. And, and that's a good thing. And it takes some time here to actually come in terms with what to bring against the Sumeril. But eventually, here comes Veraphorn. And Veraphorn is actually somewhat, somewhat annoying for me. I do have switch-ins for it, and Grimlock or Steelix is one of them. Because the Barter Press pretty much nullify Veraphorn's edge versus me. The stab won't do as much damage. The only thing that is troublesome is something like spikes and stealth rocks that clearly will me down. He was on like lead seed. And my opponent here has to go for stealth rocks. And I was thinking I probably just should attack here. It's very obvious that I probably will go for stealth rocks. I did decide to go for it. And my opponent gets the absolute better hand here as uh, he guarantees that his Cinderace, when it comes in, are, well, guaranteed to get a hit off. And that's actually kind of annoying. Because, yeah, I have Sturdy intact, and I guess that's kind of nice. But I sure as hell don't want to waste that. So I decided to bring in a Sumeril, and I'll be honest, my hope here was basically please just don't die. That was really it. As it goes with Powerball and actually misses it, and that is great for me as well. He's dead now anyway, and uh, I was very lucky. Like, I hate that with Powerball. It's such a good move, but those 90% they can be devastating. That extra chip on a Sumeril would have been phenomenal for, for my opponent to get on my Sumeril. So now it brings in Plushy back again. And um, I'll be honest, at this point, I still have pretty much the same switching. <laughs> uh, I did level where or not I want to go for a superpower, but yeah, basically I felt eventually ah, I just got to switch. I, I'm, I have really just, I have a good switching in Grimlock and I should probably gonna capitalize on that. At least for now, like Rainblock Sturd is intact, and unless Elite Seed, um, then I should be fine. Actually, because there are spikes instead, and I'll, I'll be honest, at this point, I kind of I have to be somewhat worried because now we know it has Stealth Rocks, it has spikes. Uh, it probably has only one attacking move plus Elite Seed, maybe. So I go for a Body Press, and it's doing what it should. And here it comes Iron Barb plus Rocky Helmet, and I'm like, ah, that that's not gonna work for me. So uh, all of a sudden. This is a matchup I don't win. <laughs> and with lead seed, things looking kinda grim. I do, <laughs> at this point though, I realize if he has one attack, or if he has one other attack, it's gonna be an offensive move. So, in theory, I could just um, sack this Pokemon and try to get to position with Dragonite, because Dragonite looking really solid right now. But my opponent called that and goes for Clefable, I was like, ah, that's... That's unfortunate, because that's, of course, <laughs> I don't have something like Iron Head, which would have been great, by the way. Um, I realized that a fully fat variant of Steelix maybe isn't that offensively capable as something like, um, well, the Shear Force variant with Iron Head and Bulldoze. But at the time, I didn't just question it, I just couldn't. So, here is where I just beg for what I really want to do. Uh, but if it's something I really want to do, and I'll be honest here, is actually to get it just the hazards off the field. My opponent actually brings in Plushy again, and I was like, you... I'm not going to say scum, that's not right. But... 
I should have just kept attacking. I have a Ferrothorn is something I want to get down. And um, he clearly uh, was baiting for something to see if I would or not. I carried um, like an Iron Head or anything like that. So here I just go for a defog, basically nullifying whatever he can do. This is a matchup I by default wins because now we know we have two ways of hazard plus lead seed and now we see power whip. I can root this off, there is no problem with me whatsoever. This is a matchup that just straight up Decidueye wins. And I think I showcased that directly by roosting that he can keep resetting I guess, but that's about it. Like this is a matchup you have lost. And it also helped me a lot because that means that Dragonite is well, basically winning uh, this match. If I get Dragonite in there for free, I will be in a very good position. Now, he brings in Godchamp, and for what it's worth, that's alright. The Shadow Ball doesn't do like a whole lot, but Leaf Storm could kill. But I was basically leveling whether or not I want to sack something, use the Palm look to be kind of like a Pokemon I probably won't use that much, and just get something in for free. So I realized that, yeah, that's probably it. Like, I could Leaf Storm, maybe kill it. But do I really want to risk a Fire Fang or Fire Blast on this CGI when it just straight up shakes the Ferrothorn? But actually goes for Dragon Claw, and, and that's way better for me. So I'm clearly in a good position, so I'm just going to Superpower uh, in case the Plushie comes in. But no, he is actually not what I was hoping for, which was Scarfed as Poison Jab, and uh, all of a sudden Life Orb. I was like, okay, okay. But I have Marvel Scale on my Dragonite. There is nothing he can do to this Dragonite. Um, because if I get to Dragon Dance up, I outspeed him and I can just reset my Marvel scale versus him. So that was the plan. I'll Dragon Dance here. And uh, there's no like boosted Flareon this time around with a choice band. So he actually switches out, which works for me. And uh, now we get into something that I'm just gonna call a bit of a stall because there is. No scenario here for me of actually being forced to attack him whatsoever. I can Dragon Dance for free, pretty much securing my game. And, and one could say, well, Chris, Skyrender, that's actually kind of kind of cheeky from you. That's um, that's a very very slow death, and I'll agree. But at this point, I mean, my opponent doesn't seem to have any type of intention to actually stopping me from Dragon Dancing or checking me or switching out and something to stop this from happening we know already that due to stealth rock being up that his clefable is not an unaware one and i have yet to see him bring in his switchings now he decided to actually just go for spikes and i've just lead seed in and stalling and whatnot um, or not stalling he wants me to kill him basically or me to attack him but at this point like i said i want to go full on at it and i think he as you see my HP plummet to realize that he has a one good chance of actually killing me and that is by me going for a dual wing beat and I'll, I'll say like this um, there is a scenario here where I was basically leveling whether or not I want to roost or I want to dragon dance do I really want to show him that I can get myself into Marvel scale category I mean I cannot just his leads to push me out of it but there is a scenario here where I can recover and take damage before I fall back and um, at this point I felt, you know, I'm getting I'm getting that low. I do want to Dragon Dance again, but if I actually predict this right or wrong, I mean, then I am in an awful position. So um, after, um, I, I did some soul searching, but clearly into the video, uh, there was no problem. I just roost directly. I was trying to be a lot more dramatic than I really was. I have no idea what I said. Like I said, most of these games are actually recorded live, but my mic for some reason wasn't plugged in. And I failed to realize it. Okay, so now here's the scenario. I say like this, I should definitely Earthquake here. I say that because there is a scenario and a small chance that I can actually be destroyed by going for a dual wing beat because Veriform sure as hell can take one. And um, yeah, about that. My opponent, Nate here, does a really, really good play, setting him plushy back again. And uh, I'll go for dual wing beat. It's not even a KO, by the way. And I get a lot of residual damage back on me. And I fail to kill him. And I am so close of dying. And with the lead seed going on, I am forced here to recover. So he DC'd. <laughs> so yeah, clearly he couldn't take the heat. Like there I say like this. 
there is this is GG. There is no coming back from here. I can just roost this off. Nothing of these remaining mods can deal with my Dragonite. And I was basically in a winning position no matter what. But that, my friend, are a very, very salty DC. And I love it. So that's it, guys. Always thanks for watching. And have a great day. Bye. <laughs>